as I've been, you know, as I've been reading and praying with the, the resurrection accounts here, the church gives us here as we still celebrate Easter Day, like, it's just, um, and hope, hopefully you're not scandalized by this, that it's like, hey, if you're a priest, maybe you shouldn't be so amazed by this, but it's just amazing of how alive Jesus is. Like, The react like the gospel. I mean, he hit how alive Jesus appears, how, and not how he appears to them, but how alive he really is to the apostles in the room. The, you know, the, the the language that's that that's used that he stood in their midst, that he ate food. You know, and not only in the gospel and the resurrection accounts, but also we hear it in the Acts of the Apostles, even though his bodily body's not there what still happens healings take place how is it done everyone's amazed how's it done by the name of jesus the one that you killed that rose from the dead and i keep going back to the question for myself like how do i really how much do i really know and believe and live in the mindset of how alive jesus is do I really grasp to the extent that I need to, that I should, that Jesus is inviting me into and how, on, how, how alive he is, how real he is and what change and like uh, result would that be in my life if that was, if that was deeper? And you know, I, one, one of the things with the gospel today that came in prayer was like, I don't think we would be as startled, horrified, no, startled, terrified, and troubled. Well, those are the three, three um, adjectives used in the gospel. They were startled, they were terrified, and they were troubled. Because, because th those, you know, lack of peace, lack of peace of soul, lack of peace of mind, I think comes about. Like that's what that's one of the things that fill, that fill the the vacuum when we don't grasp how real and alive Jesus is. In comes being terrified, in comes being startled, in comes being troubled. And so what do we see Jesus do? He, he, gives, he offers them peace. And I came across a quote from St. Gregory of Nassiazen this morning. He says this, we should be ashamed to dispense with the salutation of peace. He's talking about the salutation that Jesus gives today in the gospel. We should be ashamed to dispense with the salutation of peace. Salutation the Lord left us when he was going to leave this world. Peace is a name and a substantial thing emerging from God. Notice the tense. It's not peace is, is something that emerged from God, but Jesus is alive and peace is something that is emerging from God today for you and me. It's the, it's the resurrection of Christ. It's the fact that he's alive that recovers peace of mind and peace of soul for us from all those things that, that, that may be cause, or that cause us to be terrified, startled, and troubled. And so, again, like just how alive, question for us, how alive do I know him to be? How alive do I know him to be? that he really gives peace and that peace is something that em is emerging from him today, now, for us. In any area in our heart where it's, we're troubled, we're terrified, we're startled.